Kate Jackson is a television actress who rose to fame during her time playing Sabrina Duncan on the hit 70s action series Charlie's Angels. Kate was no mere pretty face, as her creative input helped give the show its iconic name. In the years since Charlie's Angels, Kate has continued to appear on television, though her last appearance was over a decade ago. Today, Kate is busy working on her memoirs, which detail the tragic reason the spotlight has largely eluded her in the years since leaving Charlie's Angels. Join Facts First as we take a look at the sad reason you don't see Kate Jackson anymore. Over the latter half of the 70s, TV audiences became very familiar with Kate Jackson thanks to her tenure on Charlie's Angels. On the series, Kate played Sabrina Duncan. Following that role, Kate continued to be a successful actress. In the 80s, she could be seen on other successful series, landing the role of Amanda King on Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Although the show, upon its 1983 premiere, was nowhere near the breakout success Charlie's Angels had been, it proved Kate was still an actress with longevity in the industry. Sadly, her role on Scarecrow and Mrs. King, as well as the series itself, was put to an early end as a result of tragic health concerns that befell Kate in the later 1980s. In 1987, Kate was diagnosed with breast cancer. That same year, Scarecrow and Mrs. King came to an end. Kate began undergoing chemotherapy, and her cancer was said to have completely abated as a result of the treatment. But a few years later, the cancer came back. This resulted in the actress undergoing a mastectomy, and she's been cancer-free ever since. But the end of Kate Jackson's cancer battle sadly wasn't the end of her health concerns. After being diagnosed a second time with cancer, it was also revealed Kate was suffering from an unrelated condition known as a septal defect. For those who don't know, this means Kate was born with a hole inside her heart. Thankfully, a septal defect is something that can be taken care of with surgery. As a result of her numerous battles with her health, Kate has become more passionate in her later years about spreading cancer awareness than she is about acting in Hollywood productions. According to Kate, her cancer experience has made her very passionate about advocating for early cancer screenings. While many in Kate's position might have chosen to keep their cancer battle a secret and carry on with their lives after their successful fight, Kate has chosen to share her story with as many people as possible in the hopes that doing so will ensure others can catch their cancer before it becomes as serious as Kate's was. The actress has shared that the mammogram that caught her breast cancer in the late 80s was the first one she'd ever received. Looking back, she's not sure why it took her so long to undergo the procedure. Because of this, she wants to make sure no one else ends up in that same position. Following Kate's successful battles with breast cancer and her septal defect, the actress has remained fairly healthy. But she's undergone some other personal battles, including a lawsuit in 2010. That year, Kate sued her financial advisor, claiming the advisor had cost her multiple millions of dollars. The lawsuit was settled in an undisclosed agreement, and Kate Jackson hasn't been seen on screen since. Her last role was in a 2007 episode of the series Criminal Minds. The last anyone has heard, she was hard at work on her memoirs. These were going to be released in late 2021, but they have still not come out. Kate Jackson is 73 and looks as beautiful as ever, despite her past health struggles. She could theoretically choose to return to the screen at any time, though she no longer lives in Hollywood. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about Kate Jackson. Although it was Kate Jackson's role as Sabrina Duncan on Charlie's Angels that rocketed her to stardom, it wasn't her first television role. Her first notable role was an appearance on the supernatural soap opera Dark Shadows. Her initial appearance on the series was successful, and she continued appearing on the program through 1971. She could also be seen in one of the series' theatrical adaptations, Night of Dark Shadows. Other films Kate has been seen in include Loverboy and Making Love. Kate Jackson was born October 29, 1948 in Birmingham, Alabama. Her father was a wealthy business executive, which allowed the young girl the privilege of attending the prestigious Brook Hill School for Girls in Mountain Brook, Alabama. She initially chose to attend the University of Mississippi, but soon after enrollment, she decided she didn't need a college education and wanted to jump straight into acting. She dedicated herself to an apprenticeship at the Stowe Playhouse in Stowe, Vermont. Following this, she moved to New York City to study the art of acting at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Her first role on the screen came with her aforementioned turn in Dark Shadows, though true success eluded her until Charlie's Angels. Kate Jackson has recalled the immense shock she felt when Charlie's Angels became a huge hit. According to the actress, the fame and success was completely new to her. 
The series was not only popular during its time period, but has persevered in a way that few of its contemporaries have managed to. Charlie's Angels is still being rebooted today in the form of various films, with the most recent released in 2019. Kate Jackson received her role on Charlie's Angels after working with series producer Aaron Spelling on the series The Rookies. Jackson made an impression on Aaron, and the producer kept Kate in mind when it was time to cast his new spy series. When Kate was offered the part, the series was referred to as The Alley Cats. However, Kate suggested that the female spies should be called Angels instead of Cats. The series was subsequently known as Harry's Angels for a period before the name Charlie's Angels was decided upon. When the pilot was filmed, Kate was actually cast in the role of Kelly Garrett. However, following filming, Kate decided she was more apt for the part of Sabrina and began campaigning to Aaron Spelling for a role change. Kate was given the role and Jacqueline Smith was given the role of Kelly Garrett. Kate's intuition proved correct, as Americans fell in love with her as Sabrina Duncan, and the show was a hit. After leaving Hollywood, she moved to Virginia for a time, where she connected with childhood friends. Later, she moved to Utah with her third husband, who was a ski lodge owner named Tom Hart. Kate had met Tom while vacationing at his lodge in Aspen, Colorado. They met in 1989, tied the knot in 91, after which Kate became the stepmother of Tom's children. Sadly, the marriage fell apart in 1993. Kate had previously been married twice, with neither being any more successful than her third. Despite taking Tom's children as her own during their marriage, Kate never had children of her own until then. Her first marriage was to Andrew Stevens, whom she wed in 1978 and divorced in 81. The next year, she married a man named David Greenwald. This marriage lasted for two years. Following her divorce from her third husband, it seems she's decided not to remarry, but she did adopt a child of her own a few years later. Kate adopted her son, Charles Taylor Jackson, in 1995. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Kate Jackson can actually be credited with inspiring the series' iconic title? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.